With Russia's invasion forces stalled in a bloody war of attrition on Ukraine's southern and eastern front lines, Moscow has resorted to a strategic air campaign of missile and drone strikes. Primarily targeted against Ukraine's power grid, these attacks are also meant to terrorize the civilian population. Yet Russia's gambit has failed. According to recent polling, Ukrainians' will to resist is stronger than ever. Here in the capital city of Kyiv, life goes on between the bombardments and the air raid alerts. For many Ukrainians, the continuation of life's daily habits has become an act of defiance against Russia's attempts to break their spirits and their will to carry on. Life in Kyiv these days really is reminiscent of stories of London during the Blitz in World War II. Ukrainians have gotten used to this new wartime normal of living under bombardment. In between Russia's attacks, they go to work and school. But all the while, on the back of everyone's mind is the certainty that at some point their city will come under attack again. The only question is when. Do, do you feel like you are used the attacks now? Yes. You, Not you... really. <laughs> when it's uh, a huge attack, massive attack, it's really scary. Yeah. I, I'm not get, get used to it. I, I, I'm still afraid. Is it hard to do normal things like study or go to work with this threat there uh, of the attacks all the time? I think it is. It helps us. During, during attacks, we are at uh, shelter, at bomb shelter. But after it, we're going to work, to study, like nothing's happened. Yep. Well, I think uh, everything is, is good because we have uh, the great government, the great soldiers and we believe in them. So I think everything will be okay. So we know uh, what we are fighting for, our freedom and the democracy is in for sure. Ukraine has dismissed Russian President Vladimir Putin's call for a ceasefire. Ukrainian officials call the move a trick, meant to buy time for Russia's beleaguered invasion forces. And they have reason to be distrustful. Over the New Year's holiday weekend, Russia launched multiple waves of missile and drone strikes against Ukraine, including here in the capital city of Kyiv. Despite all the blackouts and the bombardments, and the prospect of a protracted war in 2023, Ukraine's soldiers and civilians remain confident that their country will prevail over Russia's full-scale invasion. As you can see, it's pretty bare bones inside this Soviet-era bomb shelter. The walls are crumbling, there's an old metal blast door you pass through on the way in. And the only places to sit are metal benches along the walls. But in cities across Ukraine, these are the types of places where Ukrainians will sit for hours during the air raids and Russian attacks. And sometimes they'll spend the entire nights huddled down here uh, with the sounds of explosions thundering overhead. <laughs> Это трудно для ее? Ну, потому что еще она маленькая, и тут гудит, тут уже сирена срабатывает, а ее... Но трудно сидеть здесь Ой, не говорить, не несколько это часов. Да. Несколько часов, это очень тяжело, тем более для ребенка. Это очень да. тяжело. Вот вам результат да. этого перемирия. Что, сидим? <laughs> and do you feel confident that Ukraine will win the war? Yes, yes for sure. For sure. <laughs> From Kiev, Ukraine, for Coffee or Die magazine. This is Nolan Peterson.